hey guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video we would be understanding about communication from your parent component to your child component so this would be a very important video in your lwc series uh, guys for now i am having two components this is a parent component i have named this and this is a child component this is also empty nothing lies inside the two so for now just think that these are not related these are two different components with the name parent and child okay so till now they are having no connection they are independent only okay so uh, now basically why we are uh, studying about this parent to child or child to parent hierarchy so the main reason behind this is because uh, when you are working on a project or a site so it is not that you are only uh, or you are creating a page so you are not only restricted to a particular thing there can be multiple things based upon the requirement okay so for that for uh, or in order to ease the requirement what we do is we divide the entire component into smaller smaller components and through events we pass data in them okay so what is the advantage of doing that so basically the main advantage of doing that is code modularity since you are dividing that code into smaller modules it is easy to debug because at a later stage when uh, any bug is reported or anything has happened so you could easily check out that yeah in this component this happened so this is my component and all the functionality related to that component lies in that small chunk instead of having a component of 2 to 4000 lines we could have smaller components of 500 to 600 lines as per the requirement so that is the basic idea behind your uh, relationships in your uh, lightning web components i hope you understood a brief about this in the further videos uh, we would be more understanding uh, these things so for today let's get started from a beginner point of view that how it all works and how it all started so what am i doing is uh so i would be creating a lightning card and in this uh lightning card what i would uh, do is uh, just uh, uh what shall i do is yeah uh, i would just write inside of parent component okay so this uh, would be displaying you uh, a lightning card with uh, inside of parent component okay now this is your child component or this is your component number two where you want the maximum functionality to be for example say this functionality bx this resides in this component and now we are to create another functionality uh, other functionality uh, so we want to create a new component uh, so we created a so we created a child component okay and in this child component let us go in this child component okay now what i would do is i would just uh, create a card in here as well so uh, in this i would be writing inside child card okay and standard opportunity so as to differentiate so first of all I deploy this and now what I want is I want I want to have this child component inside my parent component because at this time these are two different components now so what I would do is this bracket uh, C is for component and now we would be accessing the child component so we would write c h i l d child c m p the name of the component and this is done so what has happened is this has called the entire uh, code of this component in here 
okay so how does it parses uh, it prints everything like this okay this line only now let me show you how it is looking so let me deploy this source to org see guys what can we see is inside of parent component that was our parent card and inside of our child card that was our child card but we didn't uh, drag and drop the child component see i just drag the parent component if you could see here the name of this is parent component i haven't dragged my child component in here okay so this has called the parent component in here so uh, now this was so very simple that how we could call this so how it set up a relation is let me show you so let us say in your child component there is a variable that is get message okay so now uh let me say that uh, uh let me create a, a p tag in here and no let me create another lightning card only and this title would be get message okay so uh, now what has happened is i have wired this function but i want that this message should be coming from my parent okay so what i would do is i would use a uh, annotation that is api so uh, this has been imported in here so what does it do is from this api this becomes visible to your parent or we could say is that it is accessible publicly okay and in uh, in your child component what we could say is we would call this name that is get message is equal to and from here we could we would be passing the value that could be uh, mess message so in my parent component what i would do is i would define this message would be hello child from parent okay so what had happened is this get message was a property of your child component and this message has been passed from your parent component it's because we are in our parent component and in this we have called this child component so what we are doing is we are accessing through this child's name and we are passing into a value okay so let me uh, deploy this so what has happened is it all requires small cases so in your child component as well uh, do this get messages m small and same as in here m small so our source has been deployed to org now going back refreshing the page see hello child from parent so from where this came is this get message came from the, uh, your parent component that is message okay so in this way uh, what we did is uh, we wired these two components together so this was a parent to child relationship where in our parent component we are calling the child attribute and we are passing some data into that okay